Hi, my project is CARB NN, a novel active transfer learning neural network to build de novo metal organic frameworks, or MOFs, for carbon capture. Power plants burn fossil fuels which release toxic gas into the atmosphere. This gas, called flue gas, is rich in carbon dioxide and accounts for almost 50% of carbon emissions worldwide. The best way to combat this is with point source carbon capture. This takes carbon from the gas before it leaves the factory and puts it back into the ground. The main way to isolate CO2 is with amine liquids, though they are corrosive and evaporate, which requires constant replacement. Metal organic frameworks, or solid MOFs, are very porous and act like a sponge, trap the CO2, avoiding those pitfalls. The main problem for MOFs, though, is that they are very expensive and not as efficient. This brings me to my science fair project, designing a metal organic framework with ligands that not only absorb CO2, but with electrocatalysis, turn it into carbon monoxide and oxygen, which will help the environment and provide fuel. The model I ended up using can be seen on the screen. To optimize the reaction with machine learning, I need to maximize three parameters. Negative free energy to decrease the cost, Faradaic efficiency to increase the reaction rate, and negative voltage potential to make it low energy. The main problem in this space is the lack of data to work with. To solve this, I developed a model that works well with low amounts of data, an active transfer learning evolution model. First, I run the data I hand collected through a crystal graph neural network to predict the three properties and combine them into a fitness function. Then I go to the 10,000 frameworks from the Cambridge Crystallography database and use genetic evolution to maximize the fitness function. Lastly, the model converged onto a metal organic framework that can be seen on the screen. My engineering goal was a success as it predicted to have a high efficiency and be very cost effective with a low free energy score. This crystal is also based in research as similar to oxygen electrocatalysis reductions, which makes it look promising. In the future, I would love to synthesize this to test properties, but I do not have a lab. Assuming my predictions are accurate, this could be used as a new catalytic converter and be used for fuel, or the model could be used to predict other sparse data properties like photocatalysis. Thank you!